Hey, my lap denim. What's up? Get ready to see the best Sweden country walk drawing of all time. Oh, great. Here comes the cue ball. Oh, great. I'll show you, oh, great. Oh, great. We just lost a competitor. Have we checked that Silhouette has some kind of recovery in case people have died? We actually haven't. Alright guys, I'm gonna check. I think you need some help getting to him faster. Uh, I can call this an opportunity to try out my recovering powers. That went smoothly. Well, it's time for the elimination. I'll think of an intro for the show and the elimination intro sometime. So, we got two votes last time. That's how many for the first episode. Well, it's a two-way tie between Cubo and Cherry, both having received one vote each. So, the contestants on the winning team will vote for one of them to be eliminated. Looks like we're going to be voting in the booth. Well, here's something I want to get straight. Cherry. Cubo is out of here. I'll vote Cherry since Cubo has a distinguishable personality, while all Cherry ever does is kill White Mainberry, and I think her elimination will be beneficial in the long run. Immediate response, Cubo. It all comes down to me. Both are equally as bad, but I'll guess I'll vote Cherry to give Cubo a chance of redemption. So Cherry is eliminated, huh? Wait a minute, where'd I go? Now, sirs are right. She already gave me annoying points before the elimination. For this challenge, two teams of seven will be in order, which I will let you choose who to group with. And the contest will be to knock others out. The team that has the least points will be up for elimination. Matte, matte. Team Baka wa anzen de show wo morairu n janai no. So ste, kono bangumi no intro wa arimasu ka? Oh, right, right, right. Here's the intro. By the way, here are your prizes. Wait, so the prizes are random items? Don't call Pokemon items. Enough of this, we should probably start forming the groups for the challenge. All right, who should be on our team? Let's go for Pearl. Sweet. I'm just going to wait here for them to come to me because if they come to me, they are true intellects. Count me in. With your brawns and my brains, we will most definitely emerge victorious. Hey, you two, join us. Can the final two people be some people that are competitive because we're really loving and strong people? How about Boulder? He could take a punch. Well, I can see someone's a fast runner. Boulder, I dig your defense. Join my team. Well, Boulder's no longer an option. Hey, why don't we get Impersonator Ellie Free? We all know Impersonator's a great manipulator and he wouldn't go on a team without his friends, so why not just get him both? Wait, so who does that leave for me? Great. Seeing as your teammates in episode 1 were literal garbage, I'll be the one choosing the team names. So, Dodgeball's team will be Team Yes, and Cubeball's team will be Team D. These team names are way worse than ones in episode 1. I suddenly feel as if someone took my spot for kicking White Bayberry. To be continued. That was fast. Have some ice cream. Why, thank you, dear. Go Look, uh, sorry about the whole hammer thing, but gotta do what has to be done. Hey, Volty, if I guess today's vote code correctly, I automatically win the round. Sounds good. Shut up. The code is 023. How did you know? Well, it's guaranteed for Team D to win since the score is either going to be 4-2 or 4-3, so there's no need to play the final round. Well, anyways, vote in the comment section using the letters and square brackets for who you think deserves to be eliminated. The one who gets the most votes will be the second eliminator from TPMOS. And also, we're not including Pearl since she didn't compete in the challenge.